we're just in this training video we're going to very quickly cover uh, export functions uh, as well as sharing uh, your your documents so once you've finished whatever it is that you're going to do and you're ready to export your work into some format uh, this is what you're going to do so first of all you'll need to select the pages that you want to export so let's say we want to select everything that we've done here so we'll click on the blue export button you're going to have a couple of options. Um, first of all, you need to make sure that the correct transcription is selected. Um, so in this case, we actually have a couple of options. So we'd want to go in and check and see, well, you know, which transcription is it that you did? Um, in, in most cases, you're only going to have one transcription model that you actually used. You may have tried out a couple of, a couple of them, but only one probably are you going to have actually edited. So you want to make sure that you have the correct transcription model selected. Uh, you'll select that, and then you're going to pick your file format. So depending again on what your uses are going to be, if it's Alto or Page XML for further work, or if you just want the plain text. And in many cases, this is probably what you're going to do. Um, if it's text, uh, you'll hit export, and this will give you, as you can probably guess, plain text files. If you pick Page XML or Alto, you will have an additional option of including the images. Um, so if we do this and we hit export, um, it'll give us a zip file that we can uh, open. And we can look uh, very quickly here, see what's inside. And here we have our XML files as well as uh, the underlying uh, file, in this case, a PNG file. All right, so that's our exporting. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing that we want to note is sharing. I actually cannot share this document because I did not start it. So let's go to one that I started. All right, if you want to share a document with someone else, so let's say you finished transcribing and checking a document and you would like uh, someone else to check it over for you to, to do quality control. Uh, this is very simple. Uh, we'll hit share. And then you'll need to know the username of the person. And we'll work on uh, generating a list of everyone's usernames um, so that you can share back and forth as you need to. Uh, eventually, uh, this feature will be uh, realized it, it's not yet. So for now, you can just share to one person at a time. Um, so you'll type in the person's username here, uh, and then hit share. And then that person will be able uh, to view and edit the document that you've worked on. Um, and of course, you will be able to track the changes. And by the way, I, I'm not sure if we mentioned this before, but if you want to see the changes that have been done, let's go to one. Yeah. When you're in edit mode, when you're doing transcription, if you click on a line, you can toggle here to history. Uh, and this will show you um, where changes have been made and will actually highlight them. Um, so if, say, you're doing quality control and you want to see what changes have been made for some reason. That's something that you can do here. All right, so that's everything for now. Uh, good luck with your work. Uh, and of course, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any issues that you run into along the way.